Hello and Namaste. In continuation with the linear algebra topic matrices, we have already started with eigenvalues and eigenvectors, and we have covered with how to deal and how to find out the eigenvalues and vectors for the matrix which is having the distinct eigenvalues. Now let us go with this repeated eigenvalues. How to go about this repeating eigenvalues? How to find out the vectors? How to find out the eigen space? We are dealing here with. This is the part one. Now, if capital A is given to us as this three cross three matrix, we have to find out the values, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and the base for eigen space. We know that the characteristic equation of this three cross three matrix has been given to us as lambda cube minus summation of a i i i is moving from one to three lambda square plus summation of m i i i is moving from one to three into lambda minus determinant of a is equals to zero. Now, looking at this summation of a i i that is one. Plus two plus two, that is five, and we need to find out the summation of M I I corresponding to this diagonal elements. That is the minus for this corresponding diagonal elements. You can check it easily for this particular. If you have to find out the eigenvalues for this particular, just pause the video. Try to get the, the answer for the till the the eigen uh, characteristic equation and the lambdas, and then you just start and just cross check your answers. Then again, determinant of the matrix that is this this factor, the constant term of this equation, that is determinant of a is given to us by four, and therefore the lambda cube minus five lambda square plus eight lambda minus four is equals to zero is an equation, characteristic equation, and the eigen values or the latent or proper values are nothing but one comma two comma two. Now you will find out the difference over here that this two set of values are repeated two times, wherein this one. Is coming only once here. This is what is known as the repeated. This is known as repeated eigenvalues. So we are dealing here with how to find out an eigen vector corresponding to the repeated eigen value. For this corresponding to this one, the the method remains the same. That is of using the Cramer's rule. So we will just quickly go about this lambda equals to one. We have already dealt with the previous session where we have dis, uh, have the distinct eigen values. So lambda equals to one. It's a minus i into x is equals to zero. This is what is the equation to get the eigen vector. Then we will just quickly go ahead. Just the subtraction of these two matrices will gives us this. Then we have to consider only two vectors. Now if you we'll observe here, this first and the second equation will give you the same vectors. And for that reason, we have considered here. And ultimately, if you are taking considering the first two equations, you are going to get. X is equals to zero, which we don't want to. We don't want this to be happen, and that's the reason we have to deal here with the equation number two and equation number three. That is zero x plus one y plus one z equals to zero, and the third sec third is minus x plus two y plus z equals to zero. So then the Cramer's rule will go as x. My is equals to minus y is equals to z, and so on. So we have we have discussed this in detail in the previous session. So we are just doing the same thing here in this session. We are going ahead with the repeated one. How to deal with again the eigen space? We are finding it out with this. So eigen space would be t into one one minus one. So eigen space would be this x one would be the eigen space for this particular. So x one forms a basis for the eigen space. So it is the basis for the eigen space corresponding to lambda equals to one. Now we have to deal with the two which is repeated eigen value. Now here the approach is little different. First step remains the same. That is a minus two times i into x is equals to zero. We'll be doing the subtraction of these two matrices. We'll be getting this here. Now what we have to do it? We have to use here row echelon form. This is very important concept over here. And why are we going for this? Because whenever the eigen value is getting repeated, we do not know how many number of vectors we are going to get for this two? Whether that that vector would be one or whether those vectors would be two. So in that case, we have to decide. The rank of a matrix, and for that reason, we have to go for row echelon form. Now, what exactly we are going for? That means we are going and finding out this a minus two times i matrix, the row echelon form. Now, how this row echelon form will work over here? Now, what is the target? Target is this number has to be a non-zero. Below that, have to be zero. So, already we have got this element zero. We have to make this element as well as zero. So R3 minus R2. Please follow the I button. You will get the. I'll be uh, giving you the uh, reference for the echelon form. How to go about echelon form? What exactly and how exactly you can find it out? 
so this minus 1 is 0 i need to prepare so that means what it's r3 minus r1 will gives us this first row as it is second row as it is third row will change 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 2 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 will give us z minus 2 over here so this is only there is a change only in r3 only in r3 elements okay then therefore this r3 minus 2 times r2 because still we have not yet achieved the rho equivalent form we have to make this minus 2 element as 0 as 0 so what is that r3 minus 2 times r2 will gives us this now if you observe here we have got the number of variables that is x y z as three number of variables and the rank of a matrix that is the rank of this matrix is nothing but the number of non-zero rows in an equivalent form which is nothing but small r is equals to 2 and therefore the number of parameters that is the number of linearly independent vectors corresponding to the eigenvalue of this lambda equals to 2 is coming out to be n minus r is equals to 3 minus 2 is equals to 1. So we are going to get it here only one vector corresponding to this eigenvalue 2. Though this 2 is repeated 2 times we are going to get it here only one parameter one eigen um, vector. Now what is this parameters means parameter is t which is belongs to capital R minus 0 minus singleton 0. Now there are two different methods I will be discussing both the methods here. First is take the parameter as it is or take any number which is from the real number except 0. So, so for a safer side we are always going ahead with the value which is y is equals to 1 which is very simple value and from this uh, this taking the y is equals to 1 we are go directly going to get the eigen, uh, basis for the eigenspace as well here. Now to get this value that means this is a parameter parameters means we have to assume any one value so this one number is getting from here one value from x y and z. Now if you will observe here the first and the second equation gives us this minus x plus 2y plus 2z is 0 and this 0y plus 1z equals to 0 that means what first two equations so these are the two equations so what is the what is the best way to go about it is take the value because we have to assume x y z out of this 3 we have to assume 1 so it is very wise decision to assume whether y or z and put those that value in the equation number 2. So if we are assuming y is equals to 1 here automatically we are getting the value of z because the, the equation remains only with the z and that is the reason we will be getting the value of z equals to 0 from the second. Then take these values of y is equals to 1 and z equals to 0 put it in the first equation you will be getting the value of x is equals to 2 and that, that means we are getting to form this particular eigenvector as 2 1 0. Now if you will observe here we, as we have taken the parameter the value of the parameter as 1 which is not a common for error. So 2 1 0 out of this vector we can't take it anything out. So this is nothing but 2 1 0 is nothing but the basis for eigenspace. The same is for eigenspace. We can just cross verify this thing with the another method. Now what is this another method? So I am doing it this is nothing but or 2 lambda equals to 2 how the another method will work for this now again the same first two steps will remain the same now if you will observe here here in this case you can observe equation number 1 equation number 3 and equation number 2 three of them are distinct three of them are distinct there are there are no repeated um, you can say the uh, the equation is not same here so we can assume any of these two vectors so suppose for example we are assuming this first and the second and here we are using the Kremers rule. We are using the Kremers rule. So that can also be done when this value is 2, two that is 2 is repeated 2 times. Now uh, caution is because we are dealing here with a very small matrix of 3 cross 3 that is the reason we can easily check whether the equations are same or not whether the equations are distinct or not and we can choose those 2 equations and go ahead with that. But if we have got an, uh, a matrix which is having 100 cross 100 or far more than, far uh, bigger number than this or might be which is not feasible which is not uh, feasible for a human to go about it. So we ha in that case we have to go for a programming and in that case we should always go with the equilon form. So we will be going with the equilon form here in this case. 
only because we have to deal here with three cross three matrix we can just easily look at this equations three equations which are not same and those two equations we can go ahead and just go with the same Cramer's rule what we have done. So, if you will observe here we are going to get the same basis 2, 1, 0 as that of we have got it in the previous method also. So, echelon form after assuming a value which is very uh, uh, unique or you can say one value uh, the value of any parameter as one you will be directly getting the, uh, the basis for the eigenspace corresponding to that value of lambda. Now let us go ahead and discuss with the another question. This is the question which we have to deal with. The capital A. So I am just quickly going through with this. So uh, summation of AI is 3. Summation of MII is 3. And determinant is equals to 1. And we are going to get the Katsik equation as lambda cube minus 3 lambda square plus 3 lambda minus 1 is 0. My suggestion for you all is just pause the video after the question you have seen on the screen. And just try to get this point till this point. So you will auto, you will be getting the practice for the to find out the eigenvalues. Okay. Now what will be the case when this is now? If you observe here in this case, we have got the eigenvalue one comma one comma one. I have purposely taken this case wherein all the eigenvalues are getting repeated. That means we do not have a scope here to find out this particular vector using the Cramer's rule because we do not have any distinct value in it. So, we I am just quickly going through with this. So, now here we have got this A minus 1 times I or I into X is equals to 0 as this matrix. Now, we have to reduce this particular matrix to an echelon form. If you observe here the second and the third row they are, they are same because if you are taking out this 2 out you are going to get the same. So, what this transformation you are going to get it R3 minus 2 times R2 will give you this particular last row as 0. That means what we are going to get the rank of a matrix as 2 here, right? Variables are 3, rank is equals to 2 and therefore the number of parameters that is number of linearly independent vectors corresponding to the eigenvalue of lambda equals to 1 is 1. And here in this case we are going to get this 2 equations because we have got this 1 and the 2 second equation. Again the parameter concept will come into the picture. Uh, y is equals to 1, z is equals to 1 and x is equals to 1. So, we are going to get and form the basis for eigenspace as this because we have gone here through this um, uh, this echelon form, row echelon form. So, we will be getting this as a basis for eigenspace, right. Now, again look at this here, look at this matrix. You can also go here with the Kramer's rule but in this case you can't choose the second and the third equation. You can't choose, okay, here also we can go ahead, here also we can go ahead with uh, any of them because if you observe first and second and third, yeah, three of them are distinct. So, you can go and check with first or second, second or third or whatever the combination, you will be going to get the same vector 1, 1, 1. You can just cross check, pause the video and try to get the answer using the Kramer's rule, you are going to get the same thing. Again, as I have told you, as I have instructed you the, as a caution that this is possible only if we are dealing here with a smaller um, um, order of a matrix. But if it is a larger, we have to go for the echelon form. Okay, and this is what the self-observation slide where 1, 2, 3 equations has been, 3 matrices has been given to you. You have to find out the eigenvalues and vectors corresponding to those values. Okay, and... Uh, uh, this one more uh, thing I would like to uh, tell because uh, few of them are reporting that ma'am you are going little fast. Uh, you can just reduce or increase the speed of the video for uh, watching the pur watching purpose, right? Suppose you are okay with my speed, you can just go and find out with the uh, 1.25 speed of the YouTube video and or otherwise if you are not okay with that you can even reduce the speed of this normal reduce. So, I, I think I, I will I will um, going to give you that insight in the uh, next video. Okay, thank you so much. Happy learning.